Taurus. What is up, Capricorn, my babies? Welcome back to my channel. This is your reading. If it doesn't resonate, check this out. Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North Node. You guys know what to do already. The energy is always fluid, okay? Time is not linear. These are always timeless readings. So you can go back and watch any reading um, on the channel. It is timeless, okay? Energy is, energy is fluid, all right? Let's jump in. <clears throat> Hold on one second. One second. Oh, that was that was weird. That was so weird. I had to check something. All right. You could have you could be feeling like you have um like there's always somebody trying to interrupt you. I feel like when you're doing something important, somebody's always trying to interrupt you. Somebody was calling me right now, so I stop what I'm doing to check what it is. You know. Like, why do people do that? Yeah, with the Ten of Swords, this person could have betrayed you. I feel like this is a betrayal. If somebody's like interrupting you, I feel like someone's interrupting you because they know you're working. They know you're on. You're, they know you're onto something big, or they know that you're doing something very important to you. And it's, especially like if it's something you're passionate about, and you're just like in your zone. I feel like you have tunnel vision, Capricorn. Oh shit! Ow! Stop it! Stop it! Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles. This is you. This is you. This is the tenth house. This is your. This is your card, honey. This is their legacy. You're working on something. You're building it brick by brick. You're building your empire. You're building your castle. You're building your foundation. This is your house, your home. I feel like you could be having a house built. Um, you could be having a business built. Okay, I'm hearing enterprise. Shit, fuck around. Yeah, you're coming into alignment. You're seeing two, two, two on the clock. Ten, ten. All right. Wow. Wow. Yeah, somebody is trying to take it. They're not like, they can't take it from you. No one can take anything from you, okay? Let me tell you something. It is because you are the star card, okay? You could have Aquarius in your chart. If you got Aquarius and Capricorn in your chart, holler at me, okay? Holler at me, okay? Holler at me, all right? <laughs> that's daddy there. That's daddy right there. That's baby daddy right there. That's all I got to say. You could be a masculine. You could be a divine masculine, all right? Female, doesn't matter, male or female. Um, we have two aces mirroring. Look at this. Woo, you guys. This is If this is not a karmic reading, I don't know what is. It was all divinely guided. It was all divinely fated. This is for you, okay? No one can fuck with you. We have the five of wands in reverse. This means that you are, like, people, people, you are competition. People see you as competition, but they cannot compete. You understand what I'm saying? It is really good to be seen in this light because... That means you are the best. When you are seen as competition, that means you are the best, baby. All right? Yes. Take it as a compliment. When people compete with you, it is a compliment. I feel like this is someone who's trying to compete with you. You got two sixes mirroring. Oh, my God. You got two sixes mirroring. You got two aces mirroring. <clears throat> wow. Okay, yeah. And you have two tens in your reading. So you have two tens, two aces, two sixes. Those numbers could be significant. All right. We have the star and the ten of pentacles, and they're both mirroring. Ten of pentacles and star mirroring. The star is in the obstacle posi position. So this person's younger than you with the princess of cups. This person's younger than you. This person who's interrupting you. Yeah, you know why? Okay, because you're on your path here. All right. Um, this person could have betrayed you. This is the energy you're embodying with the Ace of Cups in reverse. This could be the energy you're embodying at this time. Um, this feels like you have a lot of dormant gifts. Like you have a lot of gifts that have not been shown yet to the world because they're under, um, I'm hearing they're under galactic protection. What? With the Star Guard and the Obstacle. Yeah, they're under some sort of like galactic federation protection. I don't know where that came from. Are you an alien? Are you Anunnaki? You're Anunnaki, Pleiadian or something like that? Yeah, your star family is protecting you because you're the baby? What the fuck is this? Okay, okay, I'm open to this. I'm open to this. I'm like, I'm trying to have an open mind when it comes to this, these kind of messages because I don't know what to think. Are we surrounded by aliens? Are you surrounded by aliens? Okay, that's why. Because you know what? I feel like someone is trying to touch you or someone's trying to stop something and they, they don't know why they can't get near you. Capricorn, are you Illuminati? Are you a member or, or someone you love a member of the Illuminati? Or are they a Freemason? I'm feeling like because you are the industry, you are the 10th house, I feel like you have a deep connection, like a deep-rooted connection to the five families. 
or you may not even be aware of this. With the five of wands mirroring the ace of swords. Yeah, there's something about the five families I'm hearing. The five families. Somebody was trying to take something from you. I heard they have oil with the ace of cups. They got oil or this is oil money. I'm hearing something. Oh my God, there's so many downloads coming through. Um, So you got people around you who are wondering where you're getting your money from. But you have like old money. That's what I'm hearing. Like you have old money. Others of you, this is like you have a, um, I feel like this is a dormant, there's a gift. There's a gift you have intuitively. This is a gift of, of, of the shamans. You have a gift from the shamans. Um, to read people, to, I'm hearing you have, you have access to the Akashic records. You're able to like talk with the dead, I'm hearing. Okay, for some of you, you're able to actually talk and have, you know, meetings with the dead. I don't know what this is about. This is strange. Okay. Maybe you're doing this for a living or that you're being called to do this for a living. Others of you, uh, it's something very outer worldly, like what you do for a living or what you're going to be doing for a living. Something that there's a gift that you possess right now. It's dormant. It's like, you don't even, you're not even aware of this. Yeah. You're not even aware of this because the, I feel like there's your, your um, Anunnaki family or your Pleiadian family is like protecting you or protecting this gift. They're giving it to you. They've already given, to, I feel like they gave it to you in like at birth. This is something that was already, I feel like in your mother's womb, I'm hearing something about your mother's womb, what it was passed down to you through your mother's womb. All right. It comes from your mother's side. I'm getting really hot. Yeah. So they're telling me it's, it's, oh, you're getting warmer. <laughs> it's the mom. It's coming from the mother. Okay. You're saying two, two, two a lot. Okay. The high priestess is in the reverse. So I don't know why. Yeah. This is dormant. This gift is dormant. And it's because you're being protected. You're saying 222. Someone is saying this. This number 222. Uh, 222 is like coming into alignment with your soul tribe. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see it. I had to like turn it. Yeah. I wrote all these cards. I put angel wings on them too. This is a two of cups. So you're coming into alignment with a soul, a soulmate or your higher self. This could just talk about you coming into alignment with your soul tribe. The 222s are about, it can, it can speak of luck. Okay. You could come into an inheritance. Obviously we have the 10 of pentacles here. Um, but this energy, the 222, just talks about you coming into alignment with your, your path, who you are, who you're supposed to be, all right? And then you have the Ace of Swords, which is victory. This is success. This is this is success after a lot of opposition, okay, with the Five of Wands in reverse. Um, you are in your North Node right now. You are literally in your North Node. I know, I believe the North Node is in Aries, and it's, it's calling on everyone to be um, pioneers, in whatever you're doing, whatever field you're in, it's calling you to be a leader, okay? And you being a cardinal, cardinals are initiators. So and you getting the 10 of pentacles, it's very, very, it's like very, it's a, it's, it's a lot of good luck, okay? And we are, this is your year, okay? This is your year. This is an eight year. I know the 10th house is the 10th house, but you are Saturn and Saturn is eight, okay? In numerology, okay? Because it talks about karma. So, oh, oh my God, oh man. You're gonna see your gift this year come to light. Your gift is coming to light this year. This is karmic justice, I'm hearing. This is karmic justice for everyone in your path, who was ever on your path, who was trying to interrupt you. Yeah, maybe they meant well, or they think they meant well, but on a subconscious level, they knew what they were doing. Okay, just like you're on your mission, they're on their mission too. Their soul knows, especially if these are oppositions, especially if these are karmics, they know that they're supposed to stop you. Like that is their divine mission here. And just like we have light, we have darkness, right? Um, Capricorn, if you are a light in the world, okay, I can't speak for everyone, but if you are a light in the world and you are meant to raise the vibration of a collective, which I imagine you are, um, you have people who are trying to disrupt that, okay, because you are a nuisance to them. You're a nuisance. That is blocking their path. That is blocking what they're trying to do. So um, if you feel like you're being interrupted, especially during Mercury Retrograde, which is coming up pretty soon, um, be, be aware that it just means you're on the right path. It just means that you're in alignment with who you were supposed to be. And it just means that you are high, vibrating at a very high frequency. Okay. People, <coughs> excuse me, people always try to like get under people's skin for some reason. I don't know why, but the, the controls, they just keep coming. These karmics, they just keep coming and they comment and they leave weird comments and they say things to me and they don't even know me. You may be, you may be experiencing a lot of hate. Or you maybe in the next three weeks experience a lot of backlash for whatever it is you're doing. It is because you're on the right path. Even if you have to stand alone, just keep standing, okay? Um, 
God damn. And then whatever it is you're doing, yes, it's very, it's going to bring, it's very lucrative, whatever it is. And on top of that, you're building a foundation that's going to withstand the test of time. See how this is mirroring the princess of cups. This is a child here. So many of your children, I feel like your children's children, your children's children's children are going to reap the rewards of whatever you work, whatever you're working on in this lifetime. Okay. Which is really beautiful. I feel like that is what you're doing. That is what you're trying to do. I, I'm getting a whole lot of Jeff Bezos energy too here with the two tens. Like I'm hearing someone like um, you guys could be bowing out or you could be selling your company. If you have a company, you could be selling it for 20 times what it was worth when you started. Or, um, yeah, I'm hearing something like that a hundred times. I heard a hundred times, a hundred times. Okay. So the number, the number one zero zero could be significant a hundred times. Okay. Because you have the star card here. Yeah. You could be, um, giving, you could be stepping down from something, retiring this year because you are, um, yeah, I'm hearing it. I'm hearing it. Yeah. For those of you who are between the ages of 40 and 65, I'm hearing you're stepping down this year. You may be retiring early. Okay. Oh my God. Congratulations. Okay. Um, but yeah, like I feel like you're passing it down to a kid, to one of your children. Okay. Yeah. One of your, one of your children in your family, which is beautiful. I feel like there's going to be a lot of celebration this month. All right. With the six of swords. Um, interesting. We have the six of swords and the six of wands, Mary and the six of wands is in reverse. And it's in how it's in the position of how you're being seen. Okay, Capricorn, this they're telling me with this six of wands in reverse that you have um what is it called? Um imposter syndrome? Yeah. You like have all this to celebrate. You have so much in your life to be grateful for, be loving and you know, happy about. And I don't know, like there's something you're just getting down on yourself about this. Because you feel like you could do more. You're like, I got so much more in me. Yeah, because you're a powerhouse. <laughs> you're like, I gotta do so I wanna do something else. I wanna do something else. Like, I feel like you're just going through your projects. You're going through one thing and you're knocking it out. Just constant, knocking it out. You, I feel like someone's going to diagnose you. If you go to a doctor, I feel like they're going to diagnose you with this. I don't even know if people do that. I don't know if they diagnose them for that. But, like, I feel like you feel like you have the symptoms of... Someone told you you have the symptoms of uh, someone who is... Um, who has imposter syndrome. I don't think you do. I think you're just very passionate. You know, you love working. It's what you love to do. You're the 10th house. Yeah, yeah. Someone, oh yeah, this, 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 this could be the person who's interrupting you, okay? I feel like this is a very, um, it could be a water sign, a Pisces. <laughs> is it a mother figure? Okay, Aquarius, they're showing me Aquarius. This your mother. Double Pisces, okay? They have double Pisces in their chart. They have a lot of Piscean energy. They're very, very, um, I feel like this is a meddler, someone who meddles a lot. Like you should retire or you should take a nap or you should just, hey, lay down. Are you tired? Let me just, you know, I don't know why. I feel like you're just like, get off me. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get an Oracle message. Uh, these are actually not Oracle messages. I don't know why I said that. Um, they're affirmation cards and I really appreciate um, my audience. I really do appreciate my subscribers, all of my, I feel like you guys are my friends now, you know. Um, thank you, Jenny Miller, for this deck. This is the Star Wars deck you guys I'm going to pull from. Um, Jenny Miller. Thank you. She's a member on the channel. Um, and yeah, she sent me these affirmation cards. I really appreciate it. I'm a big Star Wars fan. I really do. I really love Star Wars. Um, my whole family loves Star Wars. I don't know about your family, but maybe that was a big, that was a big, that was big in our household. Okay. We love Star Wars. Anyway, um, let me get something you guys to see. We'll see what you need to hear at this time. It doesn't have to correlate with the reading. Okay. It's just a bonus message. And you guys, check out your free personal readings down below. They are the second, third, and fourth link, you guys. Okay, yes, they're free. And what else? What, what was I going to say? Check out the new merch. It, the merch is <laughs> the merch drop. Check out the new merch drops over there on my channel. Um, depending on which channel you're watching from, um, yeah, you'll find it. It's the first link. Okay, it should be the first link. And yeah. Oh, wow. We got a lot. I'm going to take the top one. Inspiration. Okay, so we're going to take that one. <clears throat> Yeah, you guys. All right. Wow. <laughs> you just kind of scattered the cards around. So we have, oh, look at her. I will not condone a course of action that will lead us to war. A strong leader never compromises their beliefs to go along with the group. Yeah, you're standing alone. You guys are, you guys are, you have a lot of opposition here. Okay. I feel like too, somebody wants to buy your company and you, you want to make sure they have good moral standing. Like, I feel like you care about what their intentions are. 
especially if this is surrounding children. Yeah, uh, for somebody here, if your companies, if there's something that you do, if you're a teacher or if you're some sort of, um, God, I'm trying to think. I feel like you're running a daycare service or something, or maybe you have a business that's somebody here is running a daycare service. I feel like you're you're gonna they wanna they wanna buy your service, they wanna buy the daycare and make it bigger or something. They wanna build it like on I don't know. And you just wanna make sure that they're all good people, like you're doing background checks and stuff like that. Okay, yeah. I feel like too something I'm hearing something about human resources. You could work for the government. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna get up out of here, you guys. I love you guys. You have a wonderful weekend. Namaste.